Hey there guys, welcome back to another Fly Time Friday. Tonight I'm tying a pretty simple streamer pattern. It's a classic, it's called the Deceiver. Uh, Lefty Cray came up with this fly originally. I'm not going with his exact recipe, but it's basically a Deceiver profile and platform. So um, it's a great fly. It's a really lightweight fly that is easy to cast, but it has an illusion of bulk and shows a big profile as a big bait fish, but you can cast it very easily. Uh, I'll get a fresh hook in the vise here and we'll get right into it. Okay guys, so the hook I'm using today is uh, actually a Bass Pro Shops straight shank worm hook. It's a really basic hook and it's actually pretty inexpensive. You can find it in the uh, conventional tackle section with all the offset worm hooks and stuff like that. It does have these two little barbs to keep soft plastics on that uh, you just kind of, you can either crimp down or I just wrap it over top of them with my thread. You got to be a little careful that it doesn't cut though. But uh, I'm going to come in with some Ultra um, 140 in white and just work that back to the bend of the hook. I don't think I mentioned it, but this is, a, I believe, a size one. Uh, these hooks come available and clear up to, I think, six aught, which I use the same hook to tie my big pike and uh, predator flies, musky flies with. So it's a great hook, pretty inexpensive as far as uh, big predator hooks go. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is grab some schlappen for the tail. You can use strung Chinese hackle, um, saddle hackle. Uh, the large hackle off the bottom of your capes, anything like that. I'm going to grab two that are pretty similar in size. I want them to be a little bit webby, but they can't be super just thick. These two are relatively similar. I'm going to go ahead and set this first one. I like to make the length of these tails about twice the length of the hook shank, roughly. You can make them a little shorter, but uh, the fish that you're targeting with these flies are uh, predators, so they usually take the fly either head first or either middle of the body, so you're not going to miss too many hookups by making a long tail. So uh, the way you tie these tails in, basically the stem has a flat side, and if you're looking down the stem, the flat side is just like this. So you lay that flat part of the stem on top of the hook shank. Gunnar Brommer, if you're familiar with him, goes over this in very good detail. You can check out his videos um, on his channel. But basically, if, if you tie it to the side of the hook, like most people try to do, it's gonna twist that stem like that. And you're gonna have a hard time setting your tails and they're gonna wanna twist and kinda go all crazy on you. So if you just strip away down to the bare stem and then tie it directly on top of the hook shank, with some nice firm wraps. It'll stay put exactly where you want it, just like that, so going straight back. I'm just gonna match up the other side and I'm putting the shiny side of these feathers out facing away, so that's kind of personal preference. You can have them splay outward if you think that'll help it swim better, but I just kinda like the look of this with the shiny side out, so. All right, so once you get the two feathers set, I'm gonna come in with some marabou. I'm just gonna select a feather with plenty of length. It's fairly long. And I'm gonna palmer this marabou up the hook shank. So basically, I'm gonna preen away those fibers from the tip, tie it in from the tip. And then I'm gonna act like this is basically hackle and wrap this up just like you would uh, wrap and dry fly hackle. But just preen back the fibers as you wrap so they don't get uh, wrapped over top of each other. I'm just gonna work my way forward towards my thread. I'm just gonna capture that stem and trim away the butt ends. I'm gonna take a little comb here and just try to get all those fibers that did get trapped. It just kinda happens doing this technique but uh, just try to get everything flowing backwards. And then I'm gonna wrap back over top the uh, feather. So it, this secures all that really fine um, stem down to the hook shank. And if any teeth get in there, it won't 
penetrate and rip that stem up and your fly won't come unraveled. So just make a nice little thread base over top all that. All right, next I'm gonna come in with some polar chenille. This is basically like a body filler for the fly. It uh, adds a little bit of flash, but also covers up all that uh, space in between the uh, marabou tail and the uh, deer tail head. So just gonna tie that in, move my thread up to the front of the hook and just preen back these fibers as you go. This is a synthetic material. We're just doing touch and wraps all the way up and uh, covering up their, all our work so far. All right, I'm gonna stop that about an eye length back just to give a little bit of space for the deer tail, the bucktail head. Tie that off, secure it, trim it away. Next, I'm actually gonna switch threads here to some gel spun thread, GSP. This is a GSP 100. And it just is a little easier to work with with the uh, bucktail. It won't break or anything. So get that out of there. All right, so next I'm gonna take some bucktail and I'm just gonna take this from the middle of the tail. This is where the fibers are kind of medium as far as density goes and hollowness. So it'll still flare, but it won't flare out like a deer belly hair. And when you get down towards the base of the tail, that's really what it does. It's super hollow and it gets less hollow as you work up towards the tip of the hair. I'm gonna take uh, a little less than a pencil thickness at first. And then I'm, I want the longest of these fibers. So I'm basically gonna come up here at the tips, grab at the tips and then pull all the shorter junky fibers out, all the trash pieces, um, the under fur, stuff like that. Get that out of the way. And then you're just left with some nice long tail fibers. All right, so the bucktail, the tips of the tail, I want to come about midway back on the marabou. So you have a nice taper from your hackle tails to the marabou and then up to the bucktail. So they're kind of stair-stepping equally up. I'm just gonna take that clump and make a, two loose wraps and then I'm gonna do a just a distribution pinch. I'm gonna push straight down on the clump of hair and then pinch from the sides. That's really key to help evenly disperse all that bucktail around the hook shank. Uh, give it a turn, you know, to make sure everything's looking all right. And then when everything's dispersed evenly, you're just gonna pull down really tight on the GSP and flare everything out. Make a few more nice wraps in there. And that'll just uh, pop all that deer hair out. And you want this fly to be pretty sparse. Deer hair, it'll it'll hold its shape pretty well. And th this deer hair head is really just supposed to blend in with everything else, but also create a, kind of a veil that pushes water around that head and uh, makes hydraulic action and pushes the tail and helps it swim. So once you have that, I'm just gonna trim away all the butt ends from the eye. And next I'm just gonna take a razor blade and really clean that eye up. Just make sure there's no more butt ends. Right, so now we're just gonna cover up all those butt ends with a nice thread head. And whip finish. <clears throat> we'll just hit that head with a little bit of super glue and that's pretty much it. Now 
And that's uh, my version of the Deceiver. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you don't already, follow me over on Instagram. It's uh, Blue Line Adventures, and you'll see more updates and fishing pictures, posts like that. So, uh, Also, be sure to subscribe and like the video. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you next week on another Fly Time Friday. God bless.